Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today we got a um, marathon from a sidecar dog, and um, this is going to be a lot of fun <clears throat> because it has this um, band that I do really like, um, and it's called IQ. And I did have, I used to own The Seventh House, the album, that's a 2001 album, and Dark Matter. And it reminded me, at the time, I didn't really know what Neo Prog was, but it was more like, yeah, like Pink Floyd meets something a bit heavier. And um, I never made the connection with like Genesis, for example, like The Wake like the makeup, the um, the vocalist um, is using is very reminiscent of Peter Gabriel. So I didn't make those connections because I was not into Genesis and we, we were not listening to Rush or Marillion. Marillion. Huh. And so I'm very excited to do this. So it's Sidecar Doc, he requested three songs, um, and we're going to do, and I, I think this is going to pretty much all going to be prog rock. And uh, so we're going to start out with um, IQ. This is the Road of Bones, like Roll the Bones. The Road of Bones, uh, from the Road of Bones album, 2014. So very new IQ, very different from the one that I know from the two, from the early 2000s. Then uh, after that, we're going to do Moon Safari, The Ghost of Flowers Past. And this is a 2010 album, Bloom, Bloom Liut, Bloom Liut. Okay, cool. And uh, the last one we're going to do is from Echelin, um, and it's called S the World. And it's from the album As the World. And it, this is from 1995. So I don't really know if everything is prog, but I guess I if it's if it's anything like IQ, then it's kind of like the new like Neo Prog. So I'm very excited. Thank you, Sidecar Dog, for sponsoring the marathon for making this video happen. I'm gonna have a lot of fun reviewing these or reacting, you know. Which I guess I do both. Uh, I'm not much of a reviewer, you know, but I just like, I guess I say what I think. Oh, okay, alarm. Let's um, postpone that for a bit and let's do about. Okay, let's just turn it off for now. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Here we go. So thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, please um, take a look around. We have over a thousand videos now on the channel, uh, ranging from everything, you know, rock, uh, classic rock, prog rock, metal, jazz, <coughs> fusion. There's a little bit of everything on the channel. So if you want to check it out, if you want to subscribe, you know, you can. and. Um, and you can leave us a like or dislike, whatever makes you happy. All right. So here we go. Thank you so much for this. And here we go with IQ. Thank you.
begins my night's work. Lights the remnants on display. I do not seek forgiveness. Nothing to absolve. For now, the need is met. I almost hate myself. Okay, so I'm going to go back, but oh my god, I just love his voice, and uh, the way they set the tone is so cool. I love this band, man, and this... I can do that here on my recording studio. I have, like, this really cool pad, and it's like a string section. It's just all together, and it's just one key. And it sounds so cool. That's how I love sometimes compose. So it reminded me even of the stuff that I write. <laughs> Very cool. So, but yeah, let's just return when the bass kicks in. And man, what a great band.
neo prog is it's just so um easy to listen to like if you're not in a mood for something as you know more adventurous like rush or dream theater or you know yes <clears throat> where it's just like it n not as much happens but it's still as immersive um as the other bands i just love that there's maybe a little bit more time to breathe and it's very calm you know i like that about neo prog it's it is heavy and there's like but it's not it's not like you know like i don't know like dream theater or you know symphony x or but uh, it really depends on your you know um the state you're in, you know, if I've, and I've listened to a lot of IQ when I just want to relax and I'm going for a walk and I don't really want to be all too much. I don't want to listen to too much. So this is perfect. I love this band. It's really good, man. Really great song too. And I know this song, uh, the singer just sounds exactly the same as he did 14 years ago and uh, just great voice and just the whole the whole band has a very nice feel, you know, very cool. Awesome, man. Super cool. I'm so sorry. I'm constantly sniffing because I just took Marty for a walk and it's so cold outside. Um, I don't even know. But, ah, okay, here it says 32. 32, yeah, that sucks. And it's cloudy. So yesterday was the best day because yesterday I did all this shopping for Alexia. And I'm not going to say anything right now because what if she sees? I, well, I don't think she's going to see it, but well, it's not that important. But I did all this like shopping and I installed some stuff on the wall for her. And uh, and it was the best day. And I even took Marley with me in the car and it was just a great day to do all this. And today is our anniversary, our 11th anniversary. But she's right now in uh, she's at work. And, um, but we'll be together soon. So I was just like, I'm, I still can make the video. And then tonight we're going to go eat something. It's going to be wonderful. So, okay. So now we're going to continue with Moon Safari, the ghost of flowers past. Um, again, um, well, with IQ, I didn't, I kind of knew what I was walking into. This is a much longer song. Well, only like by a minute. But also, I'm I'm sure this is Prague because, I mean, who else 
you know, records 10 minute songs. But yeah, let's get into it. Also, a little bit newer on the newer side, 2010. And let's check it out. Like it reminds me a little bit of like Alan Parsons project, but more like progressive, I guess more like Alan Parson. They don't do like a two minute like intro with a solo. It's like too commercial, I think. Uh, this is much. It has a little bit more progginess uh, and directed in that. I'm like we are prog band. Alan Parson was, I guess like a progressive psychedelic band, but not so much in your face. They were just finding their, you know, audience. And then I guess they are, but they never really recorded. I mean, there are some really longer songs, but not that I know of too much, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's just like very obvious when they start to solo right in the first minute. And it's really, really cool. I like this guy's voice. It's really cool very yeah also like it feels like neo progish wait a while when you understand how the wintry wall of your poets another try to figure the reasons why it takes a laugh and a half to unveil your scarlet eyes she returns
It reminds me a little bit of like the. Um, <clears throat> have you guys heard Dream Theater's second album, um, Images and Words? I think it reminds me a little bit of those songs like Surrounded and uh, like maybe Another Day, you know? That it's a very happy feel and it's a prog, it's a progginess, but it sounds very uplifting, you know, like, um, I don't know, check him out. Um, Another Day, Dream Theater and Surrounded, really cool songs. It reminds me very much of this, really cool. In a place where nothing's real, let me tell you how I
cool. Very um, <clears throat> at the end cinematic and very cool. I really enjoyed it, and it did remind me like of again like IQ just proc. That's more like if you just want to sit down and maybe read a book or paint or write something or just listen without being you know i mean sometimes it's nice and i pulled up some bands uh, the cool thing in spotify is you can check like our um fans also like and the flower kings appear here we've done some flower kings big big train um Edgelin, the one i'm gonna do next iq is not on there but i think they're a little bit similar and um i love the way they're the keyboards here were like so dominant. I loved it. Also the guitars a little bit, but it wasn't necessary for like a guitar solo. The keyboard solo was more than enough and very cool. And I really enjoyed it. Um, all right. So let's, let's do the next one. The next one is like I said, <clears throat> called, um, E Echelin, um, and as the world, and that's basically the title track. And this is from 95. So maybe, I don't know, maybe 95 is, I mean, it is the grunge era. This song is way shorter. So, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's go. I'm stretching my ears. They're open and notwithstanding. To rhythmic syncopation. Harmonic dissonance. I move to a groove that will never stop swinging And I sing to a song that never ends I'm pushing my brain to think a little harder To learn from the simple and question the complex If logic and reason are the gods that you follow Then you'll drown in your soul's emptiness to sit when everyone else is standing to shake your head as the world is not the way i'm raising my voice to shout a little louder to answer your questions and ease your tension in my arguments arrogance has no friend and i hate to be cushioned in a fight it's too easy to be in with a hairstyle it's too easy to go with the flow It's hard to see through a haze of popularity To shake your head as the world is not the way Be the hot black man clapper Flag waving monkey man Never see past no mouth flapping All the answers of your hand Well, it's through the platform weaver Change topics, slide of hand If you bend a big speech giver Power time for the time Passage in Babylon It's in the rotation The form of all nations you fit in It's talk at the table The team and cover the team So yeah, this reminds me way, this is totally different. This reminds me more of like something like Magellan. Magellan has like, and that's from also the nineties. Um, man, Magellan is like very progressive, but way more than, it's more like yes or ELP. It's more like uh, King Crimson like this, but this is like a modern version of, of those bands. Really cool. A lot of stuff here happening. Really cool. I like it. Really cool. Sometimes we get caught up in making the right impression. Is the commission really worth the sale that we pitch? I'm not really big in justifying intentions. If it's good, then let it grow. On its own. Talk to me, the TV, and I was the 
definitely reminded me so much of, of uh, Magellan. Look, a sidecar dog, I'm going to play you a song uh, because we're still a little bit short on the time. And um, I mean, we're not really short on time, but I would really like to play you a song. I hope this is good. I hope it's worth it. I hope you like it. But this is something from here from Magellan 1991. This is called Friends of America. I'm not sure if this is the right one, but I just want to you to hear the style. Maybe you'll like him. Here we go. And everybody else. Uh, this is from Magellan. First album ever released, Hour of Restoration. And this is on the Magna Carta um, catalog where we got like Liquid Tension from and a good, good amount of music. So here we go. Friends of America. that I didn't play this to Alexia but yeah I used to listen to this maybe mm, like 2005 or so I haven't heard it since like this is really good and I used to own this on CD so when you buy a CD you listen uh, to it until you feel that you've like I, I don't know like what 30 40 times because you want to get your value you know uh, for each CD. So, so yeah. So uh, now I, I remember I wasn't like the biggest fan of this, but it was like, it is proggy, but it was too much at the time. It was too busy, but now I kind of dig it because I've heard so much more, uh, ELP and yes. And, and, and stuff like that. And now I kind of like understand this music way better right now. It was just like, okay, like these time signature changes are very abrupt, but they're very welcome, you know? So I hope you enjoy, you know? I mean, I hope this is something that you like. It did remind me of the last band, you know? Uh, so um, so maybe maybe you can make a connection and maybe you guys like this uh, Magellan. So let's continue. <laughs>
you see also a very abrupt ending and it just kind of like reminded me it's i think this is neo like neo proc like now let's let let's click on on here magellan fans also like <laughs> yeah it's okay arena echelon yeah so i, I made the connection spark spear transatlantic enchant the flower kings so i guess yeah so it did remind me a lot of um echelon reminded me a lot of magellan so yeah it fans like the same stuff um what else neil morse um, glass hammer okay cool yeah, but I mean, at least the one that you, you know, that you requested is on there. Compare of, of fans also like. So that's kind of cool. So, yeah, I did. I loved IQ. I loved the second one. It was very, very uh, well composed. Like it had this dream theater vibe, but in the way of uh, the ballad, you know, like the um, uh, checkout, like yeah check out surrounded from the uh images and words album another day um wait for sleep even yeah and just the way he was singing and the composition and the piano very reminiscent of dream theater there and then the last one just reminded me of magellan and i so i had to play magellan so um, Sidecar Dog, thank you so much for this introduction to these new bands. Uh, and IQ, of course, is always welcome. There are two IQ reactions on the channel with Alexia. Actually, in one, I just like start crying because it just is so beautiful and reminded me of something uh, back in the day. So that's a cool reaction if you want to check it out, everybody. But thank you so much for supporting the channel we love you guys and thank you for watching for subscribing liking um and uh, thank you see you in the next video take care